Hi, my name is Claire and this is my best friend Lorraine. We've been best friends for over 25 years and now we're kind of going into business together. Lorraine is launching a sustainable millinery project and I've just quit my job to become a full-time content creator. So I'm definitely going to make videos about it. This is Hat Me Next Time. Do you know, I did such a good job at Lorraine's website last night, like not to grab my own back, but I did such a good job at it that I think I should offer this as a service. I can't get over how good this website is. It's got everything you need, like. It looks good and it's functional. I need to get ready, I need to print out the VIP things for our lanyards and I need to back up this card and clear it off. Hi, my name is Claire and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So the idea <laughs> to enter a virtual ladies day came from our very first brainstorming session all the way back in early March. So Lorraine told me that it's a big deal for a milliner to win at a ladies day, in particular the biggest one in Ireland, Galway ladies day. So we had all these plans to enter Galway ladies day and unfortunately, coronavirus happened and threw all those plans out the window. However, Lorraine did come across a number of virtual ladies days happening and we decided that we would enter the virtual version and really give it our all and see if we could possibly win one of them. For me, I mean, if somebody's to pull me aside, see my hat, for somebody to say to me, where's your hat from? And I just say, I made it. Like that is just... That's, that's the lottery right there. So in preparation for Galway Ladies Day, the big one, we found a number of other Virtual Ladies Day and we chose Navin Racecourse Virtual Ladies Day. I figured that we could really pull out all the stops for this and hopefully get the attention of the judges and stand out among all the entries. Right, what's the first thing we need to do? First thing we need to do is get our donations in. Right, okay, let's do so that that's now. that's number one on the agenda. Yeah. Right, so we need to donate a fiber each to a charity. Lorraine's trying to find which charity. Um, and then after we take our photos, we need to send them the screenshot to prove that we donated. Yeah, I'd have Navin race course at the top. Right, 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 right. Love it. So, hanging laundry, whatever, whatever we want to phrase that, five to one. Mary hanging laundry, hanging the washing. Yeah, get a bit of tissue ah. with water. It's grand. It'll come off. Ready? Oh, that's good. Ready to <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Cutting up these things for our lanyards. So Lorraine has me panicked now because there's a girl who's done a very similar idea to what we were planning. She's got her face mask on and her chalkboard and she's been reposted on a few Instagram posts. So of course Lorraine now is freaking out and uh, has me freaking out as well. But I think it'll be fine. Our idea is not the exact same as your ones. But Lorraine's worried it's going to look like her coffee and now. Sure, what can you do at this late stage? It's, uh, it's very late in the day to be changing our idea. Any of us? Right, Lorraine, take this yes. and make that hang Perfect, yes. Take it and make it work. How do, how do I... Uh, Lorraine donated to the wrong charity, Alice. How do I zoom... Alice, I'm very, oh, that's too close. So I googled I am zoomed out. charity and I ended up donating to a women's ref a housing association instead of a women's refuge. So. <laughs> like, they should have put a link in oh, Instagram here, so it takes not do that. Yeah, so... <laughs> 10 euros though. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get that back. I'd say they're like, Here, why is someone Sorry guys, Mine, just get that in her bag. <laughs> <laughs> just <a> little <laughs> Now that was a good idea, I have to give it to his. Yes, yeah. the lanyards. Yeah, it's a yeah. we don't have a colour printer, but anyway. I think the black and white is real VIP. Maybe, it'll, yeah, yeah, maybe. Yes. And then we've also got these for a second oh, shot. Yeah, that's um, very stylish. Mm. Mm. First show we want to get is Lorraine, we need to bring out the mega step. We want to make it look like I'm trying to peer over the wall to see what Mary's at. And here's the bets for Mary. So, hanging washing 5 to 1, some made them 10 to 1, squirts at 100 to 1, because the weather's shite. And then um, I can make that more if I need to make it more. Uh, yeah, I think you need shot. to white over that. Do you, do you still have the chalk pens? Mm, no, I threw that out. Remember? Here, you need Remember, I said, we will never need this again. <laughs> Oh, this is one of those moments. Yeah. <laughs> I actually said it to Claire. We won't ever need this again. We won't ever need these ever again. So we're going for more of a comedy angle. We were going for this makeshift race corner, like winner's corner in my back garden, which was in the middle of getting done up. So it was just like us to the side of this pile of sand, trying to take photographs and make it look like we were in a winner's enclosure in Navin. I want me peering over here, the rain behind me, money in her hand, and I want this in the picture. If this is not in the picture, we'll move it, okay? Then, yeah. 
then I'm like this, right? Okay. And then... Like this? Yeah. yeah. They're actually looking Built at Built-in flash, but not for your relief. <laughs> Something funny is happening, hold on. Okay, now yeah, it's taking it. I literally, you literally feel it that it's going to start coming off. Yeah, and then do I shake it to make it go big? <laughs> <laughs> Tea break so you can regroup. <laughs> yeah, Alex, your framing's a bit off now. You're getting a bit bored. <laughs> right, Lorraine, time for a competitor analysis while we uh, while I go to these pics. Right, I'm pressing send on my one. Look, so my one says betting on neighbours just isn't the same, and then it has the two tags. Yes. And then it has hats and outfits by LC Munnery for hashtag hat me next time sustainable fashion. Absolutely love it. And then I have a swipe up actually in mind to your website. Perfect. Traffic. Send. Traffic. Send. She's gone. She's gone. So look, there's my story. Bend on the neighbours just isn't the same. And then the next one is, but we're very good at it. <laughs> I love them. Champagne and everything is genius. And then I now detail, detail pics. Devil in the detail. Devil in the detail. I think that horse one is really fucking good. I think that could be. I think I'm going to post that one on my Facebook. Please do. Yeah. I'm going to get so thick now someone copies our idea. <laughs> They're ready to fight be, to six. Best look, it took us five the whole fucking day. <laughs> they have an hour. <laughs> five to six. I'd like to see what they could copy now in the next hour. Unfortunately, Lorraine and I didn't win. <laughs> but we did learn. And sure, isn't that the most important thing? Firstly, we learned that the Virtual Ladies Day are brilliant for millinery pages because... There's a really supportive atmosphere. It drives a lot of followers. Part of the competition is that the race course and the judges will share your stories, but also all of the other milliners start sharing your stories as well um, and encouraging other people to follow you. So it's a really great driver of followers for millinery pages. We also learned that even virtual ladies' days are about the style and not the personality. So far, I'm actually surprised with how creative people have been. Personally, I feel like we are a little bit more thinking outside the box. So I think we've been a bit more... Yeah, so we've definitely gone for the comedy approach, whereas other people have gone for the style approach. It's a little bit more... Yeah, exactly. Then I'm looking at, like, ugh, colours and what people wore, and I'm like, I wish... The hats are a lot. Yeah. Like, they're big hats. They're big hats. You need to go bigger with the well, hats. Need drama. We need drama. We need drama. More drama. With all these learnings under her belt, Lorraine went on to enter the Galway Ladies Day with her very first floating headpiece. Now, I'm no Milner, but I know that that's a big deal. Lorraine wanted me to say that she got the idea for the floating headpiece and learned how to do it from a course by Hat... Hat Atelier? From a woman named Rebecca Sher. I'll put the link down in the description. You can tell I don't know a fucking thing about memory. But I know about social media. And that's all Lorraine asked me to help with. By the way, I think Lorraine's funny piece was unreal. Lorraine didn't win at the Galway races either. I think we learned from the Virtual Ladies' Day that the same with the IRL Ladies' Day. You've got to go big or go home. It's got to be big. It's got to be huge. And it's actually harder than virtually to be that big. Um, so yeah, you've really got to pull out all the stops. Um, Is that the judge? That's the judge. That's the judge. One, okay. two. Oh, maybe there's a link for this. I can donate to the oh, right Oh, I can donate to the right I place now. <laughs> Women's Aid Mead. Is that yeah, where I donated to? Right, I think all mine are done. I'm yeah, up, definitely so you're I'm going to make shapeage. Good. Oh, my nail, Lorraine. Bye, everybody. You got my hat. See you later. <laughs> It's been a good long fucking eight hour day work. <laughs> <laughs> but the most positive thing to take from this is that not only did Lorraine learn a new technique to up her game, but between the first two virtual ladies days and my video on YouTube, the first episode of Hash Me Next Time, Lorraine got her first 500 followers. So she's hit her first big milestone on Instagram, which is amazing. And not only that, but Lorraine also just finished her first commission as Elsie Milne, her first hash commission. So I'm so happy for her and I'm so proud of her. On the next episode of Hash Me Next Time, 
we'll catch up with Lorraine, who I'm going to call Lurs from now on, because that's actually what I call her, so it's really weird to call her Lorraine. On the next episode, we'll catch up with Lurs on the direction her business has taken since coronavirus, on the little detour Elsie Millinery has gone on, and we'll get an update on me and how I'm doing, because I'm still here. <laughs> Hello. And maybe we'll share our plans for Christmas slash 2021. Like we're trying to get on all the Christmas, <laughs> the Christmas lists. And we'll share how. Please like this video and let me know that you want to see the part three. And thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Please consider supporting this channel on Patreon if you enjoy the content. It's how I keep the lights on. Give Lorraine and I a follow on Instagram. And in particular, give Lorraine a follow on Instagram and help the fledgling business. Links are all down in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Slon slon. You wouldn't tell to look at me now, but when I was younger, I was an absolute power dresser. In particular, I slayed coats. Rating my childhood outfits, coat edition.